Lauren Ritchie from Waffle TV, sponsored by Westbeer, and today I'm with the cast of Shitfaced Shakespeare. How are you doing today? Good, as good yeah. as we could be. Yeah. Yeah. Anyone hungover today? Oh no. No. Uh, no. <laughs> Fortunately, none bad. of us were the drinking ones last night. So oh, it's, we've yeah. left the, the one that was drinking last night in bed. And she's still in bed, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> very jealous of her at the moment. <laughs> so do you mind introducing your names to the cast? Uh, I'm Saul Marin. Stacey Norris. Jenny Fox. And the Reverend Lewis Ironside. So tell us about the show. We do Shakespeare and one of us gets shit-faced. <laughs> it's as complicated as that, isn't yeah, it? It's high concept stuff. Yeah, we like to think we're really we're moving the art form forward in new and exciting ways. Yeah. It's very much modern Shakespeare. Uh, yeah, yeah, it is. It's, it's very interactive. The, the basic premise is we've got a 45 minute version of Much Ado About Nothing. Uh, that usually takes an hour to complete as one of the cast gets totally shit-faced before they arrive at the venue. We start them drinking about four hours beforehand. Uh, they can drink at their own pace unless they're going too slow, in which case we hold them down and dentist chair them. <laughs> uh, we then turn up at the venue and uh, yeah, we can give the audience bangs, uh, gongs, whistles, bugles. They can stop the show at any time they feel that we are in danger of our actor sobering up. And we bring on more booze, top the actor up. We do also provide other sort of safety implements for the audience, including a bucket if they're sitting in the bomb zone, which is anywhere over the two front rows, plastic pack and max underneath the chairs, just like in an airplane. And you're all professional Shakespeare actors, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. all trained actors. Some of us have performed at the Globes, some have performed at the RSC. Uh, I've done The Tempest in front of 2,000 people in a single night, <laughs> and now I do this. So what's the craziest drunken ant antic to happen on stage? There's like a billion to choose from. Yeah. Um, we've had nudity, we've had battle yodeling, we've had... I rode someone, uh, an audience member, like a horse the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we had a girl from Domino's Pizza and trying to Domino's order Pizza. For food 170 food. people. Yeah. Yeah. In Act Yesterday. 1. It didn't turn up by Act, act 4, which was unfortunate because I was fucking hungry. By the end, <laughs> Yesterday, um, our, our drunk person rang her sister because it was her birthday and the whole audience sang happy birthday. Yeah, that was really her lovely. sister, yeah, that was really nice. Nice. Yeah, we have had a drunk phone their mother and be publicly disowned on stage. Yeah. That, was nice. that, <laughs> that was actually nice. the same drunk. That was the same drunk, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 She's just kind of doing family repairs now. Okay, <laughs> and drunk and always sing happy birthday rather than disowning her from family wills. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Though. Obviously, to keep it in context of the show, so last night I was playing that young lady's mother and she's saying, I'm ringing my sister. And obviously, we don't have the sister in the play, much yeah. to do about nothing. So I'm going, we don't talk about the dead sister <laughs> yeah, yeah. after we've sung the happy birthday. That's so, and then we bring play. it back yeah. into the actual show. So the rest of us that are yeah. sober on the night always have to try to bring whatever the drunk's doing into the play or move yeah. it through the play. And it's what, Whatever really the drunk fun. does, that's canon to the night. So what do you think Shakespeare himself would think about your take on his work? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I think he'd be Next question. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I genuinely think he'd be delighted. This is probably much, much, much closer. The audiences that we get coming to see us are loud, they are boisterous, it is post pub entertainment for everyone. And we are of people coming to see the show that have never been to see a Shakespeare play in their life before. Probably got exposed to it at school, got turned off the stuff because it's dry and it's difficult language to understand and be fucking honest with yourself, when did you go see a Shakespeare comedy and laugh? It's a rare thing. We take it back to a place whereby the audiences are actually enjoying, they're engaged in what we do, we simplify it down, uh, obviously because we have to for the drunk to let them know what's happening on the stage. The audiences get the plot. They go away having had a funny, fun, entertaining, boisterous time at a Shakespeare comedy. And I don't know if there's many other companies that, that give that. And we still, you know, they were saying a lot of the actual text. Yeah. Um, and sometimes the drunk will be giving you subtext and telling you what it actually means <laughs> when they shouldn't be or saying what they think about a particular line or a particular moment and that's really lovely yeah. because it gives an extra insight into what's actually happening mm. in the play so maybe people might even take more out of it and understand it better than actually just watching a straight Shakespeare yeah. show. And I think Shakespeare would be pretty gutted if he'd known that 500 years after his you know, writings were put out there in the first place. People were still rehacking the same old stuff without any originality or any new mm. ideas. We give it a go, we do something different. I'm proud of it. So what's your future plans after the fringe? More drinking? What more drinking? I think Brighton ran again this year. I'm correct. Definitely, definitely. We're back at the Brighton Fringe this year. We've actually there's two casts. We have a cast which is down in England at the moment doing music festivals. 
So yesterday we performed in front of 170 people in Edinburgh, and our other cast performed at 500 people in Oxford at the Wilderness Festival, where they booked uh, the Globe Theatre, uh, the Young Vic, and us, bizarrely. <laughs> so that's, yeah, so we are doing shit-faced up and down the country at various different little venues, we're popping up around the place, we're planning a London run for either the end of this year or the very beginning of next year. Back at Brighton and back at Edinburgh, hopefully bigger and better as we are this year. You can catch Sh <laughs> Sh 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 Shakespeare at the C venue at 11, 20 past 11. That's yeah. right. Up to the 26th, That's right? right. Yeah. yeah. Be sure to catch it. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>